baby, it's not okay. I know that you wanna keep me astray. But can't you see that? I got my man, yeah. I'm gonna better walk up, wait. I know you think that I ain't blind, but I can see you're coming from behind. But think about where you put that hat, cause there's a thing you gotta understand. When they you see me, it's not okay. I know that you wanna lead me astray. I can't you see that? I got my man, yeah. A boy, I better walk away. I don't like it that you're trying to get in. Take your sorry ass and get rolling. I don't like it that you're trying to get in. It's not AG with me, no, no. What makes you think you got a chance? You better watch out for this hand. Whenever you see me, it's not okay. I know that you wanna keep me astray. I get to see that I got my man, yeah. I thought I better walk away. I came out tonight to just for some fun. But already the fools have begun. They look good in front of their friends But now it has to become to one end And now that you cross the line You're going down, down Whenever you see me, it's not okay I know you wanna keep me astray I can't you see that I got my man, yeah
passion that we never met. I don't sweat, no blood, no tears. Please don't cry. It's a better this way now that we said goodbye. Say bye bye bye. Record from Kitty, Daisy, and Lewis. Bye bye, uh, baby. Bye bye. Plus, they did whenever you see me from the new record called The Third on Sunday. Best. It's great to have you in studio, you guys. Nice Thank to you have very you very here. Yeah. Congrats on the record. Thank you. It's called The Third because it's the third one. It is, yeah. Correct, yeah. 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 You're about ready to embark on a uh, new North American tour. You're starting like right now. Are, are you ready? Uh, yeah, well, we yeah. flew in yesterday, so um, today's the first proper day in America. Yep, so. and by the time people hear this, you'll be in San Francisco on the 1st and mm -hmm. then L.A. on the 3rd. Highly recommend driving down the coast between San Francisco and L.A. if you can. Yeah, well, we're on a tour bus. So Talk to Stu about that, I, I guess. guess. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. we travel at night a lot as well, so we don't get to see yeah. as much as we'd like. That rock and roll lifestyle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so Mick Jones uh, recorded or produced the new record. Right, and yeah. you moved all your stuff from your home, which is where you made the first couple of records mm -hmm. and really have done everything, to a new space in Camden Town, right? Yeah. Yep. It was um, an old, like, derelict Indian restaurant, mm -hmm. and um, we sort of changed it into a studio, really. And um, it's bigger, so it allowed us to do more with the in regards to recording. And we also got, um, like, a 16-track, so we could do and use different techniques <laughs> to kind of record and do more layering and stuff like that you know yeah let's not get too complicated i hope though right no 
it seems though, you know, from knowing you guys for a bit and hearing all your records, you're really into simplicity and directness, right? I mean, to say that you're into analog sound would be an understatement. You have all that. Uh, I mean, it depends what you're trying to do. I mean, you, you can do lots of different kinds of analog recording. You can make it sound like Howling Wolf or Michael Jackson. You know, they sound completely different worlds apart, but it's the same. It's the same format of recording. You know. Mm -hmm. And it helps to that you're. You, I should also introduce the Daddy Grass over there. Graham's on the uh, rhythm guitar, and Ingrid is on on bass guitar. You're a family band, which I don't think everyone knows. It's a bit obvious once you discover that. But when I first met you, I didn't know that. And uh, I remember seeing you in Portland, and uh, I thought, oh, there's Katie, Daisy, and Lewis with their hired side musicians there. But then I found out, oh, it's mom and dad. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, I guess because we we always grew up playing music together at home anyway so it just made sense for them to play with us and i think we all have like this certain connection that works yeah and really that's really how you you know i guess there's a couple ways to learn something you can go to school and read a book and then try to apply that education or you can just pick up things and do it and that seems the way you guys have done it. you just had instruments around the house and you just picked up and did it and you learned it and you all swap around playing different instruments like right now yeah yeah just <laughs> Right now we have learn uh, on the job. Yeah, right <laughs> now we have Daisy on drums and Kitty on guitar. We have switched between the first two songs, and we should mention that Tan Tan's here as well. The legendary Jamaican uh, trumpet player yeah. is mm -hmm. on the road with you as well. Yeah. yeah, he played on Whenever You See Me, and yeah. um, obviously on on the shows he's on more songs than that. But um, yes, yeah, real honor to have him play with us. Yeah, and you also worked with Rico in the past too, Rico Rodriguez, I believe. And how yeah. did you meet these guys? Um, just through just through music really and the clubs that you go to and you know it's all um because in obviously in the uk there was a lot of um like migration from the west indies right. and stuff and that's so a lot of that music still kind of survives there and and has weaved its way through pop music as well um so there's you know if you if you go out to to clubs to hear the music you like chances are you, you know you bump start bumping into people and you know, that's what we yeah. did. You know. And when we first got Tan Tan to come round and like hear like what we did and stuff, immediately he was like, Yeah man, you got the vibes, you got <laughs> the vibes yeah. and he recognized that you understand, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's the kind of the beauty of London, right? All those sub genres, all those different cultures mixing and there's uh, always sort of an audience for whatever sort of specific thing you wanna get into. Uh, all these sort of sub genres and reggae's always been big over in, in England. Yeah. Well you wanna play another song? Um, yeah, sure, Let's yeah. All right, this is uh, another one from the new record. Again, it's called The Third on Sunday Best Records. It was produced by Mick Jones, Kitty, Daisy, and Lewis are touring right now, catching them in a town near you. And here's another one from the new record. It's called Feeling of Wonder.
got me under a tune to add inside of me I told you to fake it, the rhythm will make it to everything feels good to me KEXP where the music matters. Kitty, Daisy, and Lewis in studio. Feeling of wonder. That time Lewis on drums, Daisy on keyboard, and Kitty on guitar. I'm going to guess that's a Stevie Wonder sort of tribute. Feeling of wonder. Yeah. Maybe. It wasn't really supposed it to be, but kinda it kind of ended up that way. I think I'm going to say it is. I, I think that drum beat kind of reminded me a little bit. It was actually written with more with a swing. Yeah, it was, it was more of a kind of swing vibe. And it was completely different, yeah. but then we just like messing around. Yeah. And it sounds great. It like the that. new album's called The Third. It's the third album from the group they label Sunday Best out of the UK. The record was produced by Mick Jones. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge Clash yeah. fan, always have been. Uh, tell me a little bit about Mick. What's something I would never guess about Mick Jones? He's into kind of like music that you wouldn't expect him to be. I mean, he didn't he didn't talk too much about you know punk and and the clash and all the rest of it only if you asked him about it but um at the kind of when we were first having meetings about him being a producer and all that he referenced people like Bert Kampfert which most people wouldn't know about and we we grew up listening to him he's like a german composer but just you know kind of stuff like that which is which is weird but kind of wonderful so which into is like work, weird show you know? tunes and yeah. stuff is as he? well yeah. 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 yeah and yeah. he's he's a bit of a film buff as well he talks about films quite a lot yeah and you had known each other before like he you know it's not like you just ran it just for this record but mm. you've kind of been friends for a while with Mick yeah he's just kind of one of those people that you like bump into through various things yeah and yeah we kind of knew he was a fan of ours so it kind of just clicked yeah. It was actually our tour manager that suggested it, and then we were like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Cool, yeah. So you're going to embark on this tour. Do you get excited to come to the States? I mean, are, are there places you really look forward to seeing when you travel in the U.S.? Are there favorite cities? Do you like Seattle? Yeah, this is our first time here. So we oh, really? So we arrived last night and went out to a bar, Okay. Um, which is really cool. So I'm excited yeah. for the show tonight. What are some things you had imagined about Seattle just from hearing about it that, that you want to check out here like what's the impression when you are in England I don't know, Seattle? I, mean, I haven't really people don't really talk about Seattle in London that much unless you say you're going there mm. and um but I don't know just bars and stuff I guess that's <laughs> what like British people do mainly so yeah. we so went fun. to one last night actually and our tour manager Stuart didn't get in because he didn't have ID and he's he's 50 in October uh, yeah so that's, that's Right, they just yeah. wouldn't let if no ID, not coming in. You yeah, know? it's a big deal here. For so some um, reason, it's a bit different. Pretty mad, you know. Yeah, are you looking forward to uh, some other cities in America? Like just based on, it seems like I'm going to guess you are enthusiast of, you know, American sort mm. of classic music. I'm really looking forward to going to Nashville. Yeah, heard mm. a lot of good things about mm -hmm. it. So. Cool. Are you going to New Orleans this time? No, no, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. You've been before. No, no. Yeah, you got to go. You'll yeah, love it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so your mom, Ingrid, uh, was in the raincoats. She was. Yeah. Ingrid doesn't talk a whole lot. She's got a mic on her right now, but she was, uh, <laughs> I would imagine between your mom in the raincoats and, and, uh, Daddy Graham being an engineer, uh, you know, you sort of, I guess you got, uh, sort of introduced to music really at a young age and, uh, yeah, just kept it, it going. Yeah, it wasn't really for those reasons though, like. We never really heard mum play drums at home. She didn't really, and we, we, we didn't have, have a drum, drum kit for a long time. Um, and it, yeah, it's not really because my dad's an engineer. He just sort of used to sing to us when we were kids and stuff. Right. And yeah, it was know, more just playing music, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, just jamming together. Yeah. And right, that family creating tradition. Creating a racket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that's how you learn best, really, right? In old songs and. Uh, how did you get introduced to some of the older songs that I think a lot of people your age don't really know about? You know, what what is your your entry point into discovering music? 
I think like it just depends because we used to go to various places when we were kids and hear music so you'd hear all different kinds of things it's like whether you're at school you'd hear one thing or then you go out to like a pub where there's music going on and you hear stuff there so we just heard all different kinds of music and then you you start like discovering it for yourself um, I think a lot of people young people don't actually go out and discover music they like and, and actually look for stuff um, which is a bit of a shame but um, we were lucky enough to have, have heard other things that were going on and just you know listen to it and not and when you're young you don't think about music in terms of like oh the genre or this and that you just you just like what you like so mm -hmm. that's all it was really are you into records do you guys go record shopping yeah 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 we we dj sometimes as well oh i would love to yeah, go to that for fun really. can you invite me sure yeah. if you're in america's great for record shops yeah. as well like insane it's brilliant yeah this is Katie, Daisy, and Lewis. They're going to be in San Francisco tonight, and then they'll be in L.A. on the 3rd, and then traveling all over. Highly recommend. I really love having you guys here. I've been playing your music on the show for, for quite a while, so it's good to have you in the Roadhouse. Thank you. Uh, the new record's called The Third, and it's on Sunday Best. And let's hear one more song. This is a request of mine. It's called Developer's Disease. Any story behind this one, Lewis? Um, yeah, it's just it's basically a song about um, just like places in general and especially where we live in Camden Town there's constantly developments going on we came back from tour recently from Europe and then come back and walked into Camden and surprise there's like a whole row of buildings like shuttered off ready to build the next like you know big Ikea or whatever it is they're building there big shopping centers and everywhere is just becoming the same place really so in, in 30 years, it won't be like, oh, yeah, have you been to, like, Paris or London or, or wherever, Seattle? Because everywhere is just going to look the same. So it's, it's about that, you know, and how people actually like all that stuff, really. Well, let's hear it. This is KXP, where the music matters. <laughs> Well, if there's one thing I don't want to see But the rich men, they'll always be Crooks and thieves with a developer's disease And it's breaking up my little home But now, oh, baby, don't you want to go? Oh, baby, don't you want to go? Down to London town before they tear the place down Don't you want to go? Well, sometimes I want to weep and moan Because of what they've done to my home Money and greed, that's all they need The Henning's breaking up my little home Well now, baby, don't you want to go? Oh, baby, don't you want to go down to London town before they tear the place down? Baby, don't you want to go? Now this disease I'm talking about, in my mind I have not a doubt. It's a crime in his prime, only for the big time, and it's breaking up my little home. Baby, don't you want to go? Ah, oh, baby, don't you want to go? Oh, down to London town before they tear the place down. Baby, don't you want to go? Well, next time I see a man with this disease, I'm going to kick him right between the knees. Cause he's a vandal with greed that's going to succeed And he's breaking up my little home But now, oh, baby, don't you want to go? Baby, don't you want to go? Down to London town before they tear the place down Baby, don't you want to go? Well, now Camden Town is my home wish they would leave it alone I'm gonna fight because it's right until the broad daylight because they're breaking up my little home and now oh, baby, baby don't, don't you wanna go yeah. baby don't, don't you wanna, wanna go down to London town before they tear the place down baby don't, don't you wanna go
All right, Kitty, Daisy, and Lewis in the Roadhouse on KXP where the music matters. Developers Disease from the new album called The Third on Sunday Best Records. It was great to have you here. Thank you so much for Thank coming. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.